What are the markets telling us? There's sell-off, it looks scary. Um, are they expressing doubt about the Fed's ability to control inflation, to rein in inflation, and try to engineer a soft landing? I'd say the main thing they're expressing is that they think the Fed has to do more. And places like uh, our central banks, like the ECB, have to do more. Uh, in other words, not 50, but 80 basis points. And they're saying, um, gosh, the Japanese are going to have to wake up because the currency is starting to look like the Turkish lira. Bank of Japan is not responsible actually for the exchange rate, but the government is, and the Bank of Japan then executes whatever the government wants to do on the exchange rate. But they clearly, uh, you know, if you look at the bond market in Japan this morning, it's kind of saying, well, the markets are going to force Japan off its, sort of, its yield control level. And we've got the meeting later today, I think. So uh, we'll find out if, if, if uh, the Japanese are for changing. But that's a key point. That, I think, is what is going on. And, of course, the contradiction is that whereas the markets are saying the central banks have to do more to control inflation, the more the central banks do to control inflation, the more they shock the markets. Now, you're in that state at the moment. Uh, we'll come out of it, but we always do. But uh, that's where we are. OK, so when you say uh, the markets want the central banks to do more, with the Fed hiking 75, should they have gone 100? No, I don't think actually the shocking the markets has got us anywhere but where we are. I think the more really means stretched out over time, that you're not going to get back to 25 basis points anytime soon. You have to get to, a, a in my view, a Fed fund rate of, say, 4%, 4.5%. And you have to get there, not kind of uh, uh, when you and I are buried six feet under. It's kind of you have to you have to do this over the next four, five, six meetings. So it's not that you actually they should have done a hundred yesterday and really uh, put the cat among the pigeons. I think it's more the the the, the longevity of their efforts and the sustained uh, amount of big increases which has to come and the central banks which are basically way behind the curve ecb and uh, boj have to join in that's what they're saying 